um, Robin Aikman the possibility of putting an entry point onto her field um, on Pinch Hill. It's not by Inch Hill, right? Right. So can you, can you sort of describe the situation? With, well, what we need is an entry point right about where my finger is, which is just before 439 on the map. You, see, you found yes. Pinch Hill Road. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Jeff and I and I don't was that the foreman who was with us the other day, Jeff? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Walked that yesterday and, and pointed that out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I, I had a question mm -hmm. uh, of actually which I didn't bring up with Jeff yesterday because perhaps I misunderstood. Uh, about uh, an entryway which is just as you come off of Sligo Road onto uh, Pinch Hill, Pinch Hill. Pinch Hill. so it's between mm -hmm. 204 and Sligo Road, if you find, you can find 204. Mm -hmm. then. Uh, is there going to be a ditch on that side of uh, Pinch Hill, or is the ditch all on the other side? The ditch is all on the other side. All the other side. Okay, well, then I don't think that's an issue, because we will need to get in there, but as I looked at it, that piece of land is higher than the road, so any wagons or tractors going across there will not be hurting the edge of your road since it will be moving up and not, you know, bending it down. You still should have an entryway into the field. Any, okay. Any, any entrances in and out of your field will make it an apron. Okay. So the brunt of the weight when you're coming off the road, you know what I mean, you're already off the road. So you, all your entrances that are there now, either they're gravel or if there's a call there, yeah. there's going to be a bump out at three feet. Mm -hmm. So we're going to pave in three feet and then back yeah. we grab Okay, well then all. we need to have one there. And I know you discussed that with Phil. And I did, but the trouble putting it right there, you're right at the intersection of the road. That's okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's okay with me. Well, mm -hmm. from a traffic point of view, it may not it's be okay not. because at that point in time, you're, you're at an intersection, and when cars are turning and you're trying to come out, there could possibly be an accident there. Well, I don't see... Because I, talk, I talked with Phil, and yeah. I asked him, about that, mm -hmm. and he said he could come in on a lower field without without being without but, a problem. But when he said that, he didn't realize by saying he could come in at the end of the field, you wouldn't let him come in at. The I told I told him the well, only well, okay. I'm just saying. Misunderstanding. Yeah. I told him the only entrances to the field yeah were the ones that we were putting in yeah we were not you guys would not be able to enter your field in any other place due to the breaking of the road and yeah. X Y and Z. Well, what I'm concerned about. But we do need to enter there. And, you know, if it were a high traffic area, I think that would be a really legitimate concern. But we have very little traffic there. And all of us who go around that corner have learned to be very careful because you need to make uh, move slowly so that you can see what's coming up Sligo. That's really what the issue is. And that's the issue, whether you're coming out of that field or whether you're coming along Pinch Hill. Are they entering there now? Do they do that now? Yes. And have for, have for my whole lifetime. So, so, so let's when, just, just talk about the request for a minute. So now we, we have a request for um, the first one, which I, my understanding from conversations that requires a culvert. The one up by, the one up further on Pinch Hill Road, yes, all the, the light, first one we by Jalbert's by yes. house, does require a call it if we put it in where um, Robin would like it put in. Yes. If we move it down 30 feet, 40 feet, we could actually just do a gravel entrance because we'll be good at that point in time. Sure. You know, there's enough room there. The swale well set back in the field enough where you could do just a gravel entrance. <coughs> so, do you know where Jeff is suggesting? Yes, he yes, yes, I do. Does that work or uh, not work? Not as well. Let's put it that way. I mean, and and didn't the um, foreman, you know, talk about the fact that if you just put gravel there, there's probably going to be an accumulation of water behind it. That's if you put the gravel on the upper end where you want the call. But I thought that if was If you going came to be back, true. if you came back a little bit, that ditch line actually sets out in your field about 10, 15 feet. So you, the ditch line comes out and then it sets back into the field. Mm -hmm. If we came back like 30 feet and we grubbed out an area like we did the rest of them, 
we could gravel it and it would be fine and that would be our entrance point. If we put put it up right next to the tree line, that's where we're Yeah, I didn't want it quite next to the tree line. I mean you know where I wanted to put it. Um, there would be there would have to be a call, but we'd have to dig it out, put a call bit in it, and then ditch a few feet in front of it and below it to, you know, you um, to get the water to flow appropriately. Um, How much does a call bit cost? It would be about two grand. Mm -hmm. to have it installed by it with all the materials and, mm -hmm. and everything. Okay. Well, I mean, my whole concern is that we have these separate fields and they're not, they're used for different things at different times. Mm -hmm. And so that's why we need access, you know, in different at, places. at the ends of them mm -hmm. so that we aren't creating a road right down the field itself. Mm -hmm. uh, and also so well, it doesn't interfere saying, with yeah. different uses at different yeah. times. Uh, you know, my, my um, I'll just say this for the record, it, it, it's, it, I'm happy to have the cooperation of property owners who will be sitting here and talking about this, but it's not entirely clear that we can disallow uh, farm vehicles from entering on the right, farmland. Right. So, so I appreciate you being here trying to work this out with us. Yeah. Um, so, so well, I, you know, with the town spending money on the road, uh, it's in my interest to help the road stay in good condition. Right. You know, so that's really yeah, the reason why I'm here. Clearly appreciate that. So, so are you, so. So there are two. There are two, two issues. Right. One is I don't know which one is the. And I, I always like to do the easier one first, but now I'm not sure which it is. <laughs> one is one is the one where you think we have a traffic problem, but in fact, farm vehicles have been. Going up there all along, or using and making that turn. And making so, that turn. Mm -hmm. just picture the intersection. You got an intersection right here. This is your intersection. I, I understand that it's near the intersection. There's one. There is an entrance, probably 50 feet, 60 feet, up the field, from where this corner intersection is. Oh, it's a lot more than that, Jeff. Or, or maybe 100 feet. I don't know. I don't want to take. I, I think it's uh, so, several hundred uh, yards. I mean, I can show. Then where the interest, uh, where the other. So this is lot 27 we're talking about? Uh, 28 1. 28 1. Um, okay. Then we get, it doesn't show here, but somewhere it's where it says 29 mm -hmm. AC, there is a pond. Yeah. And right across from that is where Ryan Rodden's house mm -hmm. comes. Yeah. Okay? Now, we can get in there, but that is, I would say, at least an inch from where it says 29 AC. Right. So that's quite a long distance. And uh, again, we have separate fields with um, separate purposes at, separate, at different times. The last and time, so uh, I as I say, it's not a high traffic area. And right. since we've always had to be careful when we go out there, I see nothing new. And in fact, probably that stop sign you know, is a good thing because it will mean people coming down Pinch Hill maybe yeah. are going to be moving more slowly. What I'm worried about is people coming from Slagger Road making a right-hand turn onto Pinch Hill Road, yeah. which is going to be a blind intersection. So if you're coming out of your field and somebody's taking a right-hand turn and you're halfway out with a tractor and a load of hay or whatever you are doing that day, it's that, that's my concern with that entrance on the side. Yeah. And, and I, but that's the way it's always been, Jack. I, I totally understand that, but we're redesigning the road. It isn't a Y now where you had a wider swing and you could come in and, and no, see. We, no, we couldn't. Uh, in the old way, the only thing we could do would be to come out of that field and take a sharp, sharp left turn down onto Sligo Road. And it's all going to be with the, you know, a few degrees difference because it's now straight instead of curved. It's going to be exactly the same turn we've always made. Okay. And we've always had to be careful and Sure. When, when's the last time? Sorry. When's the last time the Sligo Road was repaved? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, it's but my memory for that kind of stuff is really bad. I have no idea. There's no record. No, uh, I don't know. Ten than years? Ten I don't years. know. No, it's going to be twenty More than years. Than oh, really? I don't know. Jeff so, tries his best to keep filling the oh, holes. And, 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 no, no, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not trying to be discouraging. Yeah. So my my point is. Your entrances and, and exits from the fields that you're using now, I mean, mm -hmm. how, how, how much of a problem are we really talking about? How much of the, of the road is really damaged? To it's not Sligo, it's, well, the, 
I mean, are we, are we creating a, a much bigger problem worrying about this than, than is necessary? So what happens when you come out with farm equipment in and out in the same entrance all the time is you get rutting. Rutting holds water and eventually turns to mud. So when they're bringing, so when they're coming out of their field, the ruts keep extended. Before you know it, the ruts are to the edge of the road. Mm -hmm. This is why I'm making all the entrance. I got a 10 foot apron in to all, I, to 20 foot wide by 10 feet in. And like I said, we're going to pay 10 feet in. So hopefully at that point in time, when you're coming in and out and you're turning, you're not coming right up from the field to the shoulder gravel to the edge of the road. Like what happened on Pit Bear Road last year when they were hauling, not last year, the year before. Remember when he spun the tires and it chewed up the end of the road, edge of the road? Well, that's what's going to happen without proper entryways to the road. So these are existing cutouts. Yes. Driveways, if you will. For lack of a better term, cutouts. Yes. So on any other road, would we just be putting aprons in on any, any driveway? We put aprons. So wherever there's a driveway, yeah. we put a three foot. We tie in three feet right. per standard like residential driveway. Okay. Um, on Bay Road with the fields that with their hay, mm -hmm. we we went in about ten feet for the farm equipment. So right. when they came out, they were not damaging Bay Road. So this is precedent at least for doing the aprons. So that was my next question. So. Putting culverts in, we didn't put any culverts in on Bay Road right. to accommodate. Uh, we, we probably will be here either, but. Um, did we meet with the owner of the fields, or did we meet with the farmers? I met with the I met with the owner or the, the people that actually met with the property maintenance guy on the fields. Uh, Which one are we talking about now? We're talking. Is this well, 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 Bear Road. I met with the maintenance guys that maintain the fields, right. and I asked them, "Where's your best entrance point?" Right. With the Brandmore farm, I met with Phil three, maybe four times, right. I and I went over. Really authorized to make those decisions. Right. It's That's really the, the property owner. That's the who's with us today, so. Why we're having this emergency meeting. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm really surprised I haven't been told. Yes. So. Yes, yeah, so, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But, you know, we, we learn. Yeah, and, and Jeff, Jeff thought learn. he was going to the right person. No, no, That's, I get that. Know, yeah. He's, so, he's moving forward, we're going to make sure we don't do that yeah. drive. Right. Right. So, so let's try, to, let's try to get back. I mean, let, let's, let's Mike and I check, touch base on I mean, I am inclined to put entry points where the farm feels it needs entry points. Well, we, we have this precedent for doing it, right, yes. on other roads, and, and we don't want the other part of the road destroyed. But my, I, I still go back to the road hasn't been repaved in at least 20 years, we believe. How much damage has been done on, on Sligo or Pinch Hill where the farm equipment comes out daily? Or and the, the asphalt's all season. broken up. That's right. right. And every single, every single exit? I mean... Well, it depends how on much damage. Points. I mean, damage to you and me may not be the same as damage to fair Jeff. Fair you know, not the road. Road. Who likes to see, and he's trying to do his best to keep our yes. roads in uh, top shape, yeah. and I respect that. I have sympathy with that. Yes. I'm not arguing that we, 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 I believe we need to put them in where we said we're going to put them in. But if there are two or three other places where they need to be able to enter and exit their fields, is there a significant damage at those locations currently to justify even bothering to an attack? That's my question. I see. Yes. Okay. Where so they came, where they, where they come out of the field the currently now, the asphalt's all broken up. Okay. So but it needs to be. It, there needs I think to we're be talking about two tunnels, right? Is it just two? Yes. Yeah. One, one that needs a culvert. And then one's one just that, gravel. One that. You're concerned about the traffic, but I mean, it's we've been using it. I mean, the farms have been using it for decades. Forever. <laughs> yeah, it forever works. Yeah, before my time, it forever works. <laughs> so, and, and the addition, and just so we get out of the meat of it, the additional expense that we anticipate incurring from both of these entry points is probably twenty-five hundred dollars. Ish somewhere. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. I'm not. I don't work for Pike, so I can't. No, I'm, I understand. I'm looking at about twenty-five hundred dollars for material, I, I, the machine, I understand. the truck. If we don't make the decision today, it's going to only go up because the equipment's going to be gone. It, exactly. So that's why we're here. Well, that's why we're here. So, I mean, Mike. Oh, this is a board meeting. Sorry. Uh, so, Mike, do you have? I mean, do you? Well, I mean, 
I, I, I mean, no, but I prefer not to pay $2,500 yes, yet, but I think that the budget would be able to support but it. The times are one thing, but installing a culvert, I mean, if it was anyone else, we'd be charging them for the culvert. Exactly. We, 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 don't pay, we don't pay to install culverts over driveways, do we? The, the, old, the only culvert well, this is we, a driveway culvert. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I misunderstood. Yeah, so that's so the there's one culvert that's in. Well, we, we replaced an existing culvert that was there now because we moved the entrance of where they put their manure. I said it was because they used to just drive kind of straight off of, off of Slagger Road. So we took that culvert out and it's now a ditch line. And, and where that's going to be a T now, that's all going to be loam. Yeah. So that and that's a deep ditch. So I believe we installed. It's all culverts. We don't maintain them. So we took out. Mm -hmm. We took. So what I did is we took out a pre-existing, just a uh, steel culvert, yeah. and we put in another culvert to move it down for the entrance. Okay. So we took a culvert for a culvert. Okay. The rest of all the other work that is there is uh, just tie-ins, just gravel tie-ins. Okay. okay. By the way, uh, I would like to have been informed before that. A removal of the culvert that Jeff's talking about was ever done. Don't disagree. Because I think that there were, was an alternative to doing that, which would have been better for us. I mean, we'll live with what the solution, but we were never consulted about that. We agree with that. We apologize. Very much. So. Very much. Yeah. This, this is not the way we'd like to see yes. this. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, okay. So, <clears throat> but let's. So, so Mike. I, I, I understand. I, I'm clear I mean, about that, the maintenance that's, that's of culverts, cool. right? But don't right. don't we say we need a culvert here and we put it in, but now you have to maintain it? No. I've never built a house. I've only bought existing property. I don't no. know. Where there needs to be a top, you know, a, a, a driveway that wouldn't be over. I don't know. That's a good question. If we were laying on a road, a brand new road, would we would we be installing these culverts? Or would the, the property owner be liable for that? I don't know the answer to the question. That's you never know everything that you need to know. Yeah. So, right. Right. It's, a, it's really clear it's the maintenance piece of, of the puzzle I was culvert. thinking about for this morning. Right. right. All right. So. Uh, All right. So how do we evolve, How do we avoid the the? We probably already have said this a dozen times, but need to ask the question again. I think this morning. Where um, where's an alternative entrance where we don't need a culvert? You don't need to culvert on the one right next to Sligo Road. That's okay. that's just a little gravel. Right. right. That's that's the one that that's you got that easy one. Yeah. yeah. So the, the, where is the one again that we're talking about? It's near the Jalbert House. By the Jalbert House. So that is. It's like almost across from where they also have a little. Is this property. eleven two or eleven? Uh, let's see where we are. The lot there. Um, it's it's near where it says four three nine. It's back where it says 439 on Pinch Hill Road there. Am I the right place here? Why don't I don't know. Wait a minute. Here's Slide. Oh, here's Pinch Hill. No, I'm at the wrong place. It's it's near um, the R of R D <coughs> on Pinch Hill Road. Oh, okay. okay. On the on the on which side? Heading towards on the side Portland, of, on the left hand side. So heading on the left hand side, side as you're looking at the Jalbert. Okay. So is there an alternative entrance point there, Robin, where, where we can accommodate you would not put in a, a culvert? Well, it would be a matter of sliding it down. And uh, I would like it, but I suppose we could live with it. What is the, um, what is the um, hardship, I guess? Or how, it's, it's, again, how you divide the fields and mm -hmm. what makes sense with the, because a lot of those fields are bounded by hedgerows. Right, mm -hmm. right. Sorry. And so that yeah. kind of defines the shape that yeah. they've been in for generations. Right, exactly. And uh, so when we, what we've been doing in the past, of course, is getting the, as close as we can to those hedgerow lines yeah. so that we don't disturb the middle so of the field. So you have more usable fields. Yes. Of course. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah. And if we don't put a culvert, then, then Jeff puts in gravel, apparently, yeah. and we have to move back into that field. What, um, is, it, is this a field that's used uh, frequently? Well, yes, but we use it for, we use it for hay, it gets used for pasture, and it gets used for hay more than once. 
Yeah. So yes. Uh, the field in front of the Jalberts gets hayed once uh, because that's a field that I save for meadow birds and it doesn't get hayed until the 1st of August. Mm -hmm. And um, it gets hayed then and then gets used as pasture. In the well, I my question. So the, the, the heavy equipment that's going in there and out of there is, is more infre infrequent than in other pastures? It's kind of the same. Everyone means right. hay pasture, you know, and a lot of this end of the farm. What were you thinking, Mike? It's not as used as frequently. I wouldn't worry about it as much as the other. Well, it isn't used spot. very frequently. I mean, we're talking you know, not even an entry point, just let it be. Let it be. Well, I think, you know, it certainly down. has not been a problem up next to the Jalberts in terms of our getting stuck there. Or, or it's being a wet area when we've used it. Mm -hmm. uh, but that doesn't take away Jeff's concerns about the edge of the road right, because yeah. we will clearly be putting weight on right. that edge of the road as we come up onto it. And the, the not putting a culvert does what? It, it we moves the entrance we to away from it. We have to move the entrance now, probably 30 feet. Yeah. No, no. What if we say, what if we put the entryway where Robin is suggesting, but don't put a culvert? We just fill in the, we fill in the soil with gravel. Mm -hmm. Which will just get washed away. Eventually, yeah. Does it stop us from putting a culvert in in the future as we think of if we, you know, if we come up with a. No, you yeah. could put a culvert in. And it wouldn't be a very big, I mean, we're not talking this. Well, we're talking. Yeah, well, I'm surprised it's even that big, but yeah. Well, the culvert or the ditch line? I was t uh, asking about the culvert. Yeah, it's 12 inch culvert. Yeah. So it's nothing compared to the one down right. where Pinch Hill intersects with Sligo, which is a much bigger one. Right. All the culverts that we put in have been 12 inch. Yeah. Now, if you, if you just put gravel in where I wanted it, was that where? the foreman was concerned that they would be a water backup? No. No. We could put we could put gravel in and we can try it. I mean uh -huh. we, we'll we'll just keep it tight to the tree line, bump it out twenty feet, and then go in ten feet. We'll gravel rub it all out, we'll gravel it. And I I think that's gonna be the easiest solution for everybody. Okay. If that if yeah, that works. Is though, because wasting our time doing this and putting off the inevitable but okay. that's the Probably yes. Well, but if, if it raises the question about who who has the financial responsibility, responsibility right. we can't answer that today. Right. So that that's the. Okay. Here's the other question. Then. This is it's, a, it's only a 12 inch culvert. This is a job that you can do in house, eventually, if you have more than one person to help you. Yeah, I could do it in house eventually. Okay. Absolutely. So well, that's, that's the other. Perfect. Okay. That's a perfect. Well, I would suggest we just put the gravel down. And then we, we deal with it. So we'll see how it goes. So let's make sure that we get we're issue, fully, fully on board here. So we're talking about two additional entry points. One near uh, the Lego, which has always been used. And, yes. and then the other one across from Jalbert will just do the gravel. There will be no culvert. Okay, is that is that what we're clear? That works. Well, that works. I'm, just, I'm just worried about that intersection. Well, here's the other question. Yeah. Uh, were the police consulted at all about about um, changing the um, uh, the cutouts? Mm -hmm. The police department yeah. changing the cutouts for. So we're suggesting we're suggesting changing on. Uh, wasn't there suggested change on Sligo or Pinch Hill? Which is the T. Yeah. Yeah, no. the PD was notified of that. I know about that part, but I'm talking about the cutouts for the farm. We're not, we're not altering any now. No, they're no, the same. We're not they're altering they're a thing. They're what has always been but, used. But we had suggested changes, right? Well, Jeff was suggesting not putting... Jeff was concerned. I was concerned when you turn, when you take a right onto right Penn Show Road, there's a, the field entrance they used to use right there. My concern is when you take a right onto Penn Show Road, right, you know, you're not expecting farm equipment to be coming out of Especially at an intersection. Usually, you try and never put anything at an intersection of a road. Yeah. I don't disagree with that. But, yeah. but so, uh, actually, Jeff, by moving, you know, having the stop sign where it's going to be, the person on Sligo Road is going to have more visual uh, alert. 
uh, than they did before. This because by, by four, by hugging to those bushes, they couldn't see, I but they're going to have to come beyond the bushes to get to the new uh, exit of Pitch Hill. So they'll have more vision. I'm talking about traffic coming down Slagger Road, taking a Yes, right. I am. We understand, but we're not. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So now they're hugging right close to those bushes as they go around that curve onto yes, the they They're going to have to go further down before they make that right-hand turn where the new stop sign is going to be so that they will have more warning than they did before. So let's... So I think... I think it was just a misunderstanding on my part, so... Mm -hmm. So, I apologize for so let's. I'm going to check. With, I'm making a check in with the board, and then I'm going to check with Robin. Okay. So, so Mike, what we're talking about is really maintaining the entry points where they have been. Yes. One near the Pinch Hill Sligo intersection, one across from Jalbert. Yes. And whatever tie-ins. Whatever the traditional. Yeah. Entry and exit yeah. points have been for these vehicles yeah. for. Mm -hmm. Generation. No, yeah. no culvert. If at some point in the future we think we need one, we can start talking. I think we need to talk to the municipal association yeah, to find out exactly. definitively. Jeff, are you are you good with? I'm good. I okay. just need to let and them Robin, guys know. So yeah, I'm is, good. And is there any other question you have about the project that you? No. The only yeah. thing is, I say I wish we could call yes. this at the beginning. I, I think we will say that, again. That's in the past. We'll say again. again. We but but I, I and I don't know if something like this will come up again in Rollinsford. So Sligo. I hope it would be well. Um, eventually we're going to we gonna are, gonna eventually we're going to do Sligo uh, so yes it's going to well, come again we're don't rush as far as I'm concerned but uh, other than I can it. promise you that you know I just would not want this to happen to somebody else we agree uh, you know, yes. and yes. so yes. this can be kind of a learning exactly. experience for we everybody. had a lot of, of capital projects on our plate this year oh yes I know that. and so you know they they didn't well, I think you know, the misunderstanding is speaking that, yeah, with we were, another player that rents your fields, yes. but doesn't have right. really any ownership over. I, I honestly story. thought Phil would so. be going back to you and talking to you about it. Like I, yeah. I, I thought you guys communicated on, communicated on a regular basis. We do, but but it still not on that subject. Rob, Robin is the property. Right. So, so, so it's it, Robin. You know, it, it would be like somebody saying they talked to, to me, and then saying that the board said something. I mean, you know. It, it, mm -hmm. Well, we're on the same page yeah. with that. Yeah. So I think we're good. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we have to vote on anything. We're really this is immaterial as far as any additional uh, it's just cost. So additional gravel. So if there's no other comment or question here, I will. Michael, we're ready to adjourn. Yeah. And it's eight twenty. Thank you. Oh, Sorry to well, have you have to come down. Right. Thank you for coming. Can you meet me out on Vincho Road? We'll lock them out right now. Um, okay. Take five sure. minutes of your time. I'm going All right. down to uh, Robin. Yeah. I s I checked in with Becky about her classroom number, but I, I didn't get it. So oh, I'll have to call me the message. Okay, that's good. All right. And it's either on that level or it's one floor down, but I'll, yeah, I'll I mean, it's up. not a huge building.